Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make a bait that is great for finicky bass, especially in cold water, hair jigs. To tie a hair jig, you're going to need a fly tying vise, a bobbin with whatever color thread you want. For this hair jig, we're going to use black some fly tying scissors, a bodkin, some fly tying adhesive, and a whip finishing tool. You're also going to need a jig head hook. Typically 5 16 is the heaviest you want to go. Probably want to stay lower with like a quarter, 3 16 even 1 8 There's a few different materials that will work when you tie hair jigs. One is marabou plumes. Two is puglissi fibers, and three is synthetic hair. Different materials will move through the water differently, and it all depends on what the fish in your area want. Today we're going to be using puglissi fibers. Shout out to my boy Mike Hightower for showing me. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my hook in my vise, and you want to put that hook in the vise like this. Once you have your bobbin loaded with the thread color of your choice, you're going to start this hair jig with what's called a jam knot and basically I'm going to take the bobbin, make a few wraps and then I'm going to make a few wraps and cover up that tag end so it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to take my fly tying scissors and just cut that tag end off and then I'll make a few more wraps just to kind of neaten it up. Next, I'm going to take my material, whether that's synthetic hair, marabou plumes, or the, these puglissi fibers. You want to line it up with your hook, the amount that, it, that you want it to come off the back of your hook. So, if I hold this up to my hook, that looks about right. Make sure before you secure the material that your thread is at the top of your hook. Hair jig tying is pretty simple, but the key is right in these first two steps. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make two kind of loose wraps. And then I'm just going to kind of shuffle this hair around so it surrounds the entire hook nice and evenly. Alright, now that it's surrounding my hook, now I can go ahead and secure that. Basically, you just want to use your thread to make a nice little neat head up by the uh, jig head. Okay, so now that I have a relatively neat uh, head on this thing, it's time to finish it. And you can do this a few different ways. You can actually you can do this with your finger if you want to just tie a half hitch, but it's way easier if you use this whip finishing tool. All you're going to do is you're going to push this little hook against your thread, lift the thread up and place it in this groove, then you're going to spin it forward, create what looks like this number four here. And all you're going to do is kind of wrap around that jig head. Now once I wrap it five times, now I'm going to just pop it off that back little slot and pull this one down with my thread and then pull it tight and she's all set. So I'll cut my thread off take my fly tying adhesive Put a little dab of that glue on my thread so it doesn't come around. So there you go guys, a really quick and easy way to make a super effective bait for bass in deep cold water. Get out there, throw it in some rocks, I guarantee you'll catch something.